What's up guys, we're gonna build beast and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a future type beat using stock plugins, of course. So let's go ahead and hop into it. BPM, I'm just using 140, just something default. Um, and obviously you can see the sounds we have. So the sounds gonna be more important than anything. So I went through and kind of tweaked them so you can kind of follow along or pick certain, you know, similar sounds. So let's grab in a scale, uh, minor, of course, I'll just default to, let's do an F sharp minor. Okay, and I'll just name that. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and start our first melody uh so once we get all that in so all the basic stuff is out the way we got a basic drum kit if you want any of the sounds that i have uh, you can pick up the links in the description comment section down below all that let's go ahead and get started making our melody looking for a deeper learning experience check out our courses over at producer portal and if you're new to producing the ultimate beginner course is perfect for getting you up to speed with the rest of us now let's jump back into the video now we're going to go ahead and throw down our first sound. Now, this is the most important sound. This sound will be the melody. Uh, so it's especially for future beats, you want like more space, ambient type stuff. Uh, so um, this is going to come in handy. So we're going to use the Arc Sun Cityscape pack in here, and this is all free stuff. Um, so this is what it sounds like. OK, so to get it to sound exactly like this, um, these are the settings you're going to want to pay attention to. So the ones that I mostly tweaked was the vibrato. This is at 83%, okay? And then down here, I didn't really tweak much, but just play around with the cutoff. Uh, so this is where I have mine, which is about 50%. So exact number is 48%. And then down here, you just play around with the reverbs, really, right? Most of the sound selection is reverb and just messing with like EQ filters and stuff. So for this one, I just turned the decay up a lot. So this is about 73% for the decay, okay? And you can kind of tweak it how you want, but that's the gist of it. Let's go ahead and make our melody. So um, this is just going to be texture, so our ambience. So we can start on our roots. Let's get this kind of like that. Okay, and then of course you can kind of use tricks, right? Your you know make your chords and then kind of pull stuff up, pull stuff down, right? Like it's kind of up to you and what you want to do. But basically, I just want to um, just make like something very creepy. So I'm going to use these notes here. doesn't need to be exact but I do kind of want it to I'm gonna zoom in real quick because I know these are very small okay right so we're just using basic stuff and then maybe we can offset this I'm gonna do one fourth I think I did one six there we go I tried it Okay, I like that, just a basic little vibe. And then what we're gonna do, and you can pretty much do whatever you want in between here, as long as it kind of comes full circle. So it doesn't need to be exact on beat, but I'm gonna just copy this. And this is pretty much, like you could literally just make a beat from this right now, right? Like if you wanted to, this won't be on beat, but you like literally could. Like it's already there. It's just kind of shaping it to how you want it. And then what I'm going to do is pull this and then let's pull up an octave, okay? So that is like our main base for the melody. Um, so now we're just gonna add like counters or accents, whatever on top. So let's go ahead and add those. Now let's go ahead and add another sound. So. What I would add here is like one of these pianos. So I just chose a close grand and I don't really think I did too much with like the piano. So it just kind of mess with the reverb. So yeah, there's just the reverb, turn up the decay a bit. And yeah, that's what it sounds like. Just, just a basic piano. Uh, so you don't need to do much at this point. You can literally just add little stuff like every few bars. So I'm trying to keep this large. Um, so same thing, right? We just use our like, so we can do the fifth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can like offset it a bit. Um, and then let's use this note. Something like this. And then for the velocity, you can just kind of just play around with it. 
and yeah i think that's good enough honestly you don't need to put too much work in right like with these beats the melody they're more of a vibe they're not really supposed to be like you know the forefront uh so i think this is fine and then i'm gonna just copy it again and then just for variation we can literally just cheat it and do something like this Like, it's literally that simple, okay? Uh, I think that's good for this piano. Keep it real simple. Let's go ahead and move on to our next sound. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our second sound. So here's the sound I'm gonna use. So we're just gonna do the pianos together, right? So it's the piano mix, okay? Uh, so here are the settings. You can copy them, get them close. The main ones that I messed with, with was the echo and chorus, okay? And then just, of course, turn that decay up. Okay, you want like a very ambient vibe, so yeah. That's kind of like the sound selection. Uh, so let's go in here and we can really play around with this. Let's do shift D. And let's do one six actually. And I'm gonna take this note, pull it up. And I can get like a real creepy vibe. So with the velocity, I'm gonna just right hold right click and just drag it like this. And let's offset this a bit. Okay, I like that. And then let's do one over here. Okay, but let's pull it down an octave and we can change some of the notes. Oops. Um, let's just do it. Let's just see what that sounds like. So maybe we could take this note and maybe pull the velocity down a bit. I just want something that stands out a bit. Okay, I like that. And we're just going to copy it and be careful because we want it to like loop perfectly. Now you could use the control B, but I'm just do it manually. All right, there's our piano. Okay, I like that. So now what we can do is we can just take care of the rest of our little sounds here and then move on to the 808. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of our sound. So we have this praise sound um, I just picked, right? And these are just more of like, well, Future definitely has more of like a, a I would say like a space-like sound implemented in it. Like it's dark, but it just does definitely kind of sounds like spacey. So I just wanted to pick some sounds that kind of represented that. And then I'll just zoom in so you can copy. I don't think I really changed this one much. Uh, usually I'll just, you know just add some reverb just to make it sound decent so yeah that's it for this one and then i guess we could do both together uh because it's the last so we have purple lullaby okay and then i'll just show you this to like fix it yeah just add that decay and then yeah you're good to go so yeah we can do these um i don't want to add too much because i think we have a lot already we could just kind of kind of layer what we have so i'm gonna just uh yeah, let's just listen right now i want to add some tension as well i don't want it i don't want it to be too melodic so i'm going to add some of these uh, notes together so maybe we can switch it like right here I'm gonna turn velocity down. Let's turn this down an octave. All right, I think that's pretty good just for some background. And then also when you have all these sounds, you can kind of take stuff out throughout the beat and have stuff play solo, right? 
okay uh so let's do this one now uh and we can kind of steal from our first little piano let's do i don't know let's do like a kind of play around with it and we are one sixth and i'm gonna mute all these just so we can really hear what's going on Okay, and then we're gonna use that F because we're using it right here. Okay. I don't want this playing at the exact same time, even though it's kind of hard to hear anyway, but um, let me see. She was like, and let me. Okay, so I think I want to, oops, pull these out just a little bit. And this one. Okay, that's, that's cool. And then let's pull it like this. And then what we're gonna do is take this whole thing and we're just gonna go down five. And this is gonna give us a lot of tension. So one, two, three, four, five. It's just an old trick, all of you should know. Okay, and then, you know, it's just mixing. It's a lot of tension, but let me see if we can mask it. Let's see. Oh, wait, this is off. That's why. Okay. And I think we just take out. Let me see. Nah, we want to adjust this for sure. I kind of like it how it is, but I, I feel like if we were to add like effects, it would definitely mess around, like mess it up. But now it's sounding too melodic. Okay, that's fine. Just a little bit of troubleshooting. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. But when we add like our our like 808, this should sound it should sound fine. Okay, that's pretty smooth. All right, there we go. So we got it working. Uh, so yeah, now we're just gonna go ahead and do our 808 and our drums. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our drums together. So it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, future drums are really simple. So uh, I'm gonna try to, I don't wanna like ruin everything. So I'm gonna see if we can get away with it. Okay, I think that's good. We can kind of get away with that. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down a bit. All right, so let's start with just a basic snare. Put that on bar. And then we can do like a hi-hat like this. Let's do like an offbeat type of pattern real quick. Oh, 
Okay, and then we can just put our little bell here. Let's put it on in key. Okay. And then you could add like reverb to that, but I'm just leave it as is because when we add everything, it'll just blend in anyway. So um, let's add our 808. So this is going to bring the beat together. So um, we can start on F, of course, pull the velocity up. I'm going to pull this to like one half for now, at least. Let's do, have a little fun. Let's do like a fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do like a little. Offset it. Okay, see, that sounds a lot better. And is this cut? It should be. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so that's like the first half. Try to zoom in just so you can see. And these are one six right here. Okay. And then we can go ahead and just do the rest. It's pretty simple, right? Like, it's not the most complicated thing ever. And I'll be honest, I, I think in this video, we're doing too much for like a future beat, to be honest. But, you know, it is what it is. So. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, we'll play everything all together and I'll just kind of mix it as we go. I'm not gonna really do any effects because uh, I think we did effects the last few videos. So I like to have like one where it's no effects because you know, certain people don't have certain plugins. So I like to kind of switch it up. So yeah, I'll just mix it in, so. Right, and that's pretty much it and of course since this beat is so simple you can add effects and do a bunch of stuff like if you want to try half time some eqs but like i said before i just want to go bare bones on this one um but that's gonna be for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace